two of them, Cassius Eiffel TV here in Leeds for the way in ahead of tomorrow night's show uh, at the First Direct Arena, fighting on the ball tomorrow night, Tommy Coyle, yeah, Michael Anza, how are you Tommy? I'm well, yourself? Yeah, just about to weigh in, so... About to weigh in, now I can uh, get some food on board, definitely looking forward to that. Absolutely, uh, how many rounds are you doing tomorrow, Tom? Uh, eight rounds tomorrow. Yeah, obviously, lots to talk after your, your display against Brisbane. Not too long ago, uh, about you being in a big fight this year, that will still happen for you, won't it? You yeah, most well, certainly. I think uh, you know, I can't look past this fight with Anza. I've uh, look, look, looked at him; he looks like a, a good kid's going to come out, and I think he's going to put it right on me uh, early. Uh, it looks like he carries a bit of a punch as well. Knocked out the seven from the nine, um, so I can't look past this. But the talks me fighting July the twelfth in a in a big domestic fight. Um, there's a few names floating about. Um, I'm not too sure as yet who it's going to be, uh, but yeah, it's going to be a big one either way. Mm. Obviously, there was talk of you and Mitchell possibly fighting. He's now fighting in, uh, on the Fox Gloves undercard in a world title eliminator. So, you know, that's the sort of route he's going down. But that was a fight you were looking at. It was, yeah. It was a fight I really wanted as well, and I felt confident in winning. Uh, however, after my last last performance and what have you. Um, you know, I, I think I found found that I wasn't really w ready for you know world world class fighters yet, and um, I think I needed to be honest with myself in my display of boxing. I think I could could cope against Mitchell, and I think I could you know get a win on my best day. But then I'd have been fighting somebody like Miguel Vasquez for a world title. I'm not ready for that. You know, I'm not a world class fighter yet. Um, I maybe could be one day, but there's so much more I've got to learn yet and improve on before I fight the uh, the likes of Miguel Vasquez. Mm. I think Jack, I mean Jamie Moore in that press conference after the fight was very clear in in what you're saying now that you know the reality of it. If you do face Mitchell and it it goes that way, the IBF route that you could be sort of not slung in but put into a fight that you're not really prepared for at this stage yeah, of your career. Of course, I'd be slung in and. And I'm not ready, and I'm only 24, do you know what I mean? I'm a baby uh, in terms of boxing, and like Jay says to me, it's a young bull, old bull story, and I, I'm lucky that I've got Jamie in my corner, you know, in part of my team, and he's telling me, you know, just slowly, slowly, um, you know, we'll get there in the end. Let's take all, you know, the necessary routes, have the learning fights, you know, just keep improving small and gradual, and the big fights will come. Mm. I am only 24, so I'm just listening and and following instructions from Jamie. With the lightweight scene so red hot in this country, like I said, the, the people always talk about the likes of Crawler, Bones, Mitchell, etc. How far do you think you're away from that top level of domestic lightweights in this country? I don't think I'm a million miles away, I really don't. Uh, you know, that, there is a hell of a lot of improving what I need to do. But, you know, there's things what Crawler needs to improve on, there's things what Murray and, you know, Burns even what need to improve on. Well, when none of us are never a finished article, and um, I don't think I'm a million miles away. I think two or three more fights, and I'll be uh, I'll be there fringing on like you know, looking at world title fights and stuff like that. I need I need a good three, th maximum four more fights, and I think I'll be ready. I'm learning so fast now. When I just before I turned with Jamie, I didn't think there was much more to boxing, and you know. I'm learning more now than, than I ever have done before. Mm. I think with, with the lightweights in this country as well, you put, yeah, you put anyone together and it's kind of it does balance out as a 50-50 fight. Of course. And you stick you in there with most of the lightweights in the country and you know, you're not too far, it's 50-50, so, you know. Listen, anything can happen in this game as well. The fight against Derry proves that, you know, anything can happen. One punch can change it all. So I think... The lightweight division's red hot at the minute, and there was talk to me maybe moving up in weight because you know it is getting harder to make nine, nine stone nine. But you know we've got this new conditioner and um, Mike Pratt and the new sorry new nutritionist. A tongue twisted out on it, and I seem to be making the weight back back easier again. And uh, I want to stay at nine stone nine because of the fights there is there. They're exciting fights, and I want to be a part of that lightweight domestic scene. But like, well, uh, is an option for you. I think, yeah. At some point in your career, you know, two years down the line, definitely. I don't think I'll be a lightweight forever. But you know, I'd like to to try and go as far as I can in the lightweight division, and then move up when you know when it becomes detrimental to my you know to my performance. Mm. All right. Well, listen, Tommy. We'll look forward to seeing you weighing now, and then yeah. uh, fight night tomorrow night.
Cheers, Goose. Thanks, right. mate. Poon Kess is Tommy Cole, IFL TV. Thank you very much.